Hi and welcome. In this video, we are going to talk about the data sharing in the Azure Databricks. We are going to start by defining what is a data sharing and how we can do to uh, share data in the Azure Databricks. And there is a concept that is Unity Catalog. We are going to discuss what is Unity Catalog and what is the link between the data sharing and the Unity Catalog. And then we are going to discuss two concepts that is the data sharing in the Databricks to Databricks and the external sharing. Stay with me in this video we are to going to deep dive into those is a delta sharing. Delta sharing is an open protocol developed by Databricks for secure data sharing with other organizations regardless of the computing platform they use. Azure Databricks built a delta sharing into a unit catalog data governance platform, enabling an Azure Databricks user call it a data provider to share data with a person or a group outside of their organization call it a data recipient. A data sharing native integration with unit catalog allows you to manage, govern, audit and track usage of the shared data on one platform. In fact, your data must be registered in unit catalog to be available for secure sharing data must be also a delta leaf table format so what is a share in a data sharing a share is a read only collection of table and table partition to be shared with a person on one or more recipient. If your recipient uses a, um, a unit catalog enabled Databricks workspace, you can also include notebook file in a share. A share is a securable object registered in Unity catalog. A share can contain table and notebook file from a single unit catalog metastore. You can add or remove table and the notebook file from a share at any time. And you can assign or revoke data recipient access to share at any time. If you remove a share from your end catalog metastore or recipient of that share lose their ability to access. So let's pass to the recipient uh, is an object that associates an, an organization with a credential or a secure sharing identifier that allow the organization to access one or more share. As a data provider sharer, you can define a multiple recipient for any given Unity Catalog Metastore. But if you want to share data from multiple Metastores with a particular user or a group of users, you must define the recipient separately for each Metastore. A recipient can have access to a multiple shares. If you delete a recipient from your Unity Catalog Metastore, that the recipient lose access to the all share it could be previously access. So how about the open sharing versus Delta uh, Databricks to Databricks sharing? The way uh, you use Delta sharing depends on what you share with data. Opening sh open sharing lets you to share data with any user whether or not they have access to the Azure Databricks. Databricks to Databricks sharing lets you to share data with Azure Databricks user who have access to unit catalog Metastore. That is different from yours. Databricks to Databricks also support notebook sharing with not available in open sharing. So, what is um, an open delta sharing? For you, 
uh, want if you want to share data with the user outside of your Azure Databricks workspace, regardless of the whether they use the Databricks, you can use Open Delta Sharing to share your data securely. As a data provider, you generate a token and share it securely with the recipient. They use the token to authenticate and get read access to the, tilde, the table you include in the share of your given them access to. Recipient can access to the shared data using many computing tools and platforms, including Databricks, Apache Spark, Pandas, and Power BI. So what is a Databricks to Databricks share data sharing? If you want to share data with user who don't have access to your Unity Catalog Metaster, you can use Databricks to Databricks data sharing. As long as the recipient have access to the Databricks workspace that is enabled for Unity Catalog, Databricks to Databricks sharing lets you to share data with user in other Databricks account, whether they are AWS, Azure, or GCP, it's also a great way to secure data share, data across different Unity Catalog Metastore in your own Databricks account. One advantage of this scenario is that the share recipient does not need a token to access the share, and the provider does not need to manage a recipient token. The security of the sharing connection, including all identity verification, authentication, and auditing, is managed entirely through Delta Sharing and Databricks platform. Another advantage is the ability to share data notebook file. How do admins to set up a Delta Sharing, Databricks to Databricks Sharing between Unity Catalog Metastore in the same account? It's always enabled to enable Data Sharing to share data with Databricks Workspace in other account or non-Databricks client. Another Databricks account, admin or Metastore admin platform, are the uh, following um, steps. The first step is to enable data sharing for the Unity Catalog Metastore that manage the data you want to share. You create a share that include one or more table in the Metastore. If you want to plan to use Databricks to Databricks sharing, you can also add a notebook file to share. Then you create a recipient if your recipient is not a Databricks user or does not have access to Databricks workspace that is enabled for Unity Catalog, you can must use Open Sharing. A set of token-based confidential is generated for that recipient. You, if your recipient has uh, access to Databricks, workspace that is enabled for Unity Catalog, you can uh, use the Databricks to Databricks sharing. And no token-based confidential are required. You request a sharing identifier from the recipient and use it to establish a con secure connection. Then you grant uh, the recipient access to one or more share. And the last step is to send to the recipient the information they need to connect to the share. Open sharing only. For open sharing, use a secure channel to send the recipient an activation link that allow them to download their uh, token-based confidential. 
for data bricks to data bricks sharing the data including in the share become available in the recipient data bricks workspace as soon as you grant them access to the share so how the recipient access to the share data the recipient access to table on read only format shared notebook file are only read only but they can't be cloned and uh, then modified and in a recipient workspace just is uh, like any uh, other notebook secure access depend on the sharing model open sharing the recipient provide the credential whatever they access in the data in their tools of uh, choice including apache spark pandas power bi databricks and many more databricks to databricks the recipient access to the using to the share using a databricks they can use in catalog to grant and to deny access to the user in their databricks account whether the, the data provider update the data table in their own databricks account the update appear in near time in the recipient system so how do you keep a track of who is sharing and accessing shared data data providers can use either databricks or digging uh, look to monitor the creation and modification of the share and recipient and can monitor recipient activity on share data recipient who use shared data in a databricks account can use databricks audit logging to understand who is accessing which data for sharing a notebook you can um, use delta sharing to share notebook file using the databricks to databricks sharing the sharing um, uh, of a stream data sharing support a spark structured stream a provider can share a table with history so that recipient can use use it as structured stream source processing shared data incrementally with the low latency recipient can also perform a delta lake uh, time travel query on a tab table sharing with history to learn how to share table with history see how to add table to a chair to learn how to use shared table as a streaming source you can uh, study about the query a table using apache spark structured streaming for a recipient of a databricks to databricks sharing or access a shared data table using spark structure streaming for a recipient of uh, open a stream, uh, sharing table so there is some limitation of the data sharing that the first one is the only table stored in the unity catalog metastore can be shared using delta sharing the second one is the only table in a delta format in are supported you can easily convert parquet table to the delta and back again sharing view is not supported in this release the third limits is there are a limit on the number of file in meta uh, allowed for a shared table and the last one is a schema named information schema cannot be improved into the unity catalog metastore because that the schema name is reserved in a unity catalog 